Hey fam, y'all got to see this. You know you're doing something right when Hebrew Israelites show up at your church to be a disruption. I tell you, huh? I am. Leave me alone. But look at this foolishness. Look at this foolishness. And we have to have the police at our churches. When we have church shootings and then you got Negroes, and yes, I said Negroes, that will show up at your church and act the fool. And probably not name one of them taking care of their children. Probably none of them are working a job. Probably none of them are uh, doing what they're supposed to do by their children. And they want to be a problem coming to a church to be a problem to up their community, so they say. And they're standing out there and they want to say people are false prophets. This is foolishness. This is foolishness. And they want to be right, but don't have nothing. Want to be right and try to prove a point and are doing absolutely nothing. They have no benefit to their communities other than bringing confusion. And yes, I said it. They are the Hebrew Israelites. I don't care nothing about them talking about me or my husband or my church. They are from the devil. They are the sons of Bilal. And we come against every demonic presence that want to come against the body of Christ. Not just all nations, but the body of Christ at large. We bind up every demon spirit, even in those brothers over there. They don't even know that. That they need a savior they don't know that they need jesus they're so right that they would want to be wrong to try to prove a point and yes i said what i said come for me if you want to i'm right here ain't nobody going nowhere i'm here for the fight you know i like a good fight anytime you're ready but this is some foolishness 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 look at this and they would come to your church to cause foolishness, to cause confusion. And while they read the Bible, they cut out and take inserts that they feel like are liable and viable to what they're saying, but they won't read the whole thing. They won't read the whole thing. They won't read the whole thing. They, the whole thing. they only read what they feel is viable and, and something they can stand on to prove a point. But they're standing out here. God is not a God of confusion. Read that scripture. Standing out here talking about read 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 they ain't doing nothing doing nothing and we have to have the police out here to keep ignorance at bay now that's a shame that's a shame now do they go to mountain brook and do this no do they go out to hoover and do it probably not but they come to churches that are in predominantly black neighborhoods and try to prove a point because they feel like they have something to say. If you have something to say, you can draw from wherever you are. You don't have to come to other people's churches and bring confusion. And yes, I said what I said. And you got somebody out there look like a half pint. Bless his little heart. I guess he's going with whoever accepts him. I said what I said. Yeah, I did. And they want to record, so I'm going to record them. Look at this. Look at this. You are out of order. Out of order. Out of order. Come down there somewhere. Go down there and teach the Bible to the drug addicts then. You come over here and try to doctrinize us. You see this? And then everybody wants to claim what's fair. And this is foolishness. On a Father's Day, you want to argue that Father's Day is not in the Bible. There are a lot of things that are celebrated that's not in the Bible. But we abide on planet Earth. And they all daddies. I can almost bank that every last one of them got a child that's probably somewhere hungry right now that they're not taking care of. Look at this. Where were they at when we were passing out gas? Where are they at when we're feeding the community? No, you show up on a Sunday morning to try to shake the faith of believers. This is some foolishness. 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 
Foolishness. Foolishness. Just like crazy people, <laughs> they come for us and we standing strong. Look, the saints like we ain't never scared and we are not. What are we going to run from? Nothing. Hey, Jim. Hey. What are we going to run from? What are we running from? Nothing. This is some foolishness. We don't come to y'all storefront mosque and try to doctrinize y'all. I'm going to give them some swine. I'm going to give them what they don't eat. Oh, this is entertaining. This is, I know, but it's entertaining. Oh, your little juice done went out. I ain't he faithful? Ah, he good. I just had to show y'all the foolery we're dealing with today. Ain't it some foolishness? Here it is. We could be doing so many other things to upbuild the kingdom of God. We could be doing so many other things to join together and clean up the community. But we out here terrorizing our own communities, trying to indoctrinize people with the religion. If that's what you believe, you believe it. But don't bring that foolishness over here. If you believe that, if that's what you believe, take you and them purple shirts with them little cheap gold writing on it and go somewhere else. You don't have to come over here. Yeah, I said what I said. Them shirts is cheap. I probably could have ironed that on myself at the house. But, yeah, I said it. I mean, like, you would come on a service. They've been out here the whole service, standing outside, terrorizing the people of God. And if that's what you believe, take it somewhere else. Take it downtown to Lynn Park. Take it downtown where they're going to arrest you. You don't do that over there. You do it where you feel like you can get away with it. That's some foolishness. Foolishness at its best. And if that's what you believe, go build, get you some followers, get you a building, and go worship there. And all the people that believe the way you believe can go there. But how is it you decide you want to come here and then try to change our faith? If I don't need it, I don't need it. I don't need it. He's standing out here, look like he got that wig on from Jamie Foxx show when he was playing like D'Angelo looking a fool, a whole fool. And it's out here wanting to tell us what we should and shouldn't believe. And, you know, again, if that's what you believe, knock yourself out. Go over there somewhere else and deal with that. But, oh, we fine. We fine, family. But I just had to show y'all, when you are fighting for God, there will always be foolishness that will show up and try to make you feel like you're not doing the right thing. But when you are on track, and I mean when you are on track, the enemy always shows up. So I pray that today on this Father's Day, Happy Father's Day family, that y'all are encouraged. Don't let nobody discourage you. When The Bible says that when the enemy comes in like a flood, the Spirit of the Lord will lift up a standard. God always lift up a standard. It's always going to be naysayers against our faith. They say we would be hated and persecuted for the name of Christ. And this is what we're dealing with today. Out here want to keep this foolery going. And people are starting to honk their horns because they're tired of the mess. But when you have to deal with this in your own community, when you come out of church, this is foolishness. Foolishness, foolishness, foolishness. I'm going to give y'all one more glance at the foolery we are dealing with. And honey, our saints are here for it, but pray for us. <laughs> Look at this. Look at this foolery. So tell your pastors they are showing up in the communities of your churches to try to be a disruption. Have your um, security on point to keep them off of your property because they cannot come on your property. They will get close to it. But have your, your, your people on standby to watch for your churches because they were at another church last week. So I'm telling y'all now, this is the, the, the warning call. Have your security ready because they want to come out and indoctrinize the people and try to convert their faith. But I want to say that the, the Lord said, he said, on this rock. I will build my church, and the gates of hell will not prevail against it. So we stand on the promises of God. 
we stand on the promises of God. And so um, if you uh, ch you belong to a church in the city area, I'm sure they're doing some kind of revolution all the way around. But make sure you keep your security on point. Make sure you have people watching for them purple and gold shirts that look like I ironed on the print on it. Watch for them. When they look cheap, you know who they are. So <laughs> watch out for them. <laughs> It's got frail on it. They look like little, little pom-poms on the bottom of the shirt. Let us pray. When you see them, you know that those are the people that are coming to try to terrorize your churches. All the things that we have to deal with, so many shootings and all of that, we have to be mindful of this foolishness now. So, hey, I love y'all. Uh, it's going to be a great day. I feel it. I feel it in the spirit. It's going to be amazing. So, family, y'all have a blessed day. That's right. Everybody, our Tuscaloosa family, everybody in Birmingham, hey, y'all put your pastors on warning, put them on standby, because this is a foolishness that you're going to have to deal with. We want to argue who's who's uh, Israelite and who's Gentile. It doesn't matter because we were all engrafted in. We all need the blood of Jesus, so it don't matter one way or the other. So, family, I'm done with my rant for the day. I just had to get that off my chest in Jesus' name and say, God is still good and I shall not be moved hallelujah we give God glory we love y'all so much hey that's right God always wins he never lost a battle and he never will we are and I wish I had a voice I shout it like I feel but we glorify God even in this so I love y'all family happy Father's Day make sure hey I don't care I'm gonna keep it up I ain't, I ain't scared I ain't never scared I'm gonna leave it up you can share it <laughs> Let your pastors know this is the foolishness y'all are going to be preparing for because I'm sure they're going to show up somewhere else. And as you can tell, we do have police out here um, in front of the church. But it's sad that this is some foolishness that we have to deal with. So I love y'all family. Y'all have a blessed and a wonderful day. And I'm going to turn it around one more time so you can see these shoes with the Tinkerbell sprinkles at the the, uh, the little shirts. <laughs> with, my, with my custom iron on, on it. I'm going to let you see it one more time in Jesus' name. See this? See the frilly stuff? Foolishness. Foolishness. <laughs> <laughs> so hey god is good so i love y'all y'all have a wonderful day i'll see you next time we say i got my family out here with me I got, I got my family out here with me we good we good you see my west side we ain't never scared baby never never, never. never scared so i love y'all y'all have a great day happy father's day again god bless <laughs>